Good morning students. Now coming back with new chapter. Chapter number 2. Numbers up to 1000. And this is video number 1 for chapter 2. So students I am going to start from your maths course book. I connect section. See students. Numbers up to 1000 from chapter 2. I connect. So, Tanya and her sister made some necklaces. They made 8 necklaces with 10 beads each and 1 necklace with 5 beads. So, find out the total number of beads used in making those necklaces. So, see students, 8 necklaces, we have to make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And in each necklace, how many beads? 10 beads. So, see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 9, 10. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this one is last. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So students, how many necklaces are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And one more necklace I have to make with 5 beads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here, in one necklace, how many beads? 10 beads. Again, 10 beads. Here also, 10. See, in all the necklaces, in each necklace, necklace I have to make 10 beads. So students, here, we have made 10 beads in each necklace. And here, 5. So here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here I write 5. So students, just see how many total beads are here. So count 10 plus 10, 20 plus 10, 30 plus 10, 40 plus 10, 50 plus 10, 60 plus 10, 70 plus 10, 80. So how many total beads are here students? Tell me. Yes, 80. So, means how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. 8, 10. Is equals to how many? Very good. 80. And here, 5, 1. 5, 1. 5, 1 is equals to 5. So, how many total beads are there? See. 8 tens plus 5 1. So total how many beads are there? There are 80 plus 5. And here 8 tens plus 5 1 is equal to 85 beads. So students any problem? No? Now, I am giving you some 
from your book now write the numeral for the following so students write with me write the numeral for the following so write the numerals for the following 5 pen plus 2 1 is equal to here four ten plus eight one is equal to yeah again right seven ten plus six one is equal to and here Three tens plus five one is equal to. So students, start adding these sums. Five tens plus two ones. So five tens means fifty. So five tens means fifty, and plus two. Two ones means two. So fifty two. Five tens plus two ones is equals to fifty-two. Here, four tens plus eight one. So four tens means forty. Yes, forty plus eight one. What it will be? Forty-eight. Very good. Again, seven tens plus six ones. Seven tens means seventy, and plus six ones means six. So seven tens plus six ones is equals to seventy six, and here three tens plus five ones. Three tens means thirty, and five ones means five. So three tens plus five ones is equals to thirty five. So here thirty five. So students write down in your copy. written students now i am going to start i read section from your maths book see in the i connect section we calculated the total number of beads used by tanya and her sister which was a two digit number in this chapter we will learn about numbers up to 1000 so let us first recall ones tens and hundred now students write the smallest one digit number is so tell me Which one is the smallest one digit number? Yes, one is the smallest. Which number is the smallest one digit number, students? Yes, very good, one. And the greatest one digit number? Number is. The smallest one digit number is one, and the greatest one digit number. Very good, nine. So, student, the family of ones consists of only one digit number. Here, the smallest two digit. Number is ten. Very good. And the greatest two-digit number is 
Yes. Tell me, students. Very good. Ninety-nine. So the family of ten consists of only two digit number. Okay, students. Now start writing the smallest. Three digit number. Yes. Very good. Hundred. And the greatest three digit number. Yes. Yes, students. Very good. Nine hundred ninety-nine. And the family of hundred consists of only three digit numbers. So here we will write H. So one, ten, and hundred. The smallest one digit number is one. The greatest one digit number is nine. The smallest two digit number is ten. The greatest two digit number is ninety nine. The smallest three digit number is hundred. The greatest three digit number is nine hundred ninety nine. So students, when the number of one become ten, we get a ten means one ten. So ten ones is equals to one ten. So here, when the number of tens become ten, we get a hundred. See, ten tens is equals to one hundred. So students, I am giving you one riddle to solve. So students, I am giving you this riddle as your homework, and you have to complete it. Okay, and learn whatever I taught you today. This is your homework.